Well, hello, Crime Stuffers. 100 Monkey here. I'm going to talk a little bit about Cruz Darmon's House of Math and why the mathematics. Well, the mathematics, see, the mathematics, understanding the mathematics makes you difficult to govern. Understanding the mathematics, that's your gateway to chemistry and physics and the sciences, and that's the language the universe is written in. And uh, we can get on the same page when we start talking about certain things, and that way you don't just, you know, dismiss it as conspiracy theory because you have enough mathematics to look through the statistics and call BS when, you, when it's BS. So, check out if I'm lying. So, last name Rockefeller. Yeah, evil genius, that guy. So, he uh, removes one element, just one element from the diet of animals and humans, and figures out that he can make a crap load of money with his two industries, pharmaceuticals and petrochemicals. Well, petrochemicals first, and then pharmaceuticals. And actually, it's just petroleum. And then from petroleum, we get petrochemicals, and from petrochemicals, we get a lot of pharmaceuticals, and fertilizers, and so forth. How does this all work? All right, here's how it works. Very simply, your grandparents knew about this thing called spring tonic. Your grandparents knew about sulfur. Uh, Rockefeller also knew about sulfur, and he understood mathematics, and he understood chemistry, and he under understood how chemistry applies to physiology, and... Hmm, if I just remove this one element, I can make a crap load of money. First, how am I going to do this? Well, petroleum. I'm going to derive fertilizer, 103010, crappy fertilizer that basically removes nutrients from the soils, doesn't put nutrients in the soil, just 103010. Uh, and understand what that 103010 means. Um, and I'm going to remove the sulfur from the soil by putting this petroleum-derived fertilizer into it. Now, what happens? Oh, the animals get sick. When the animals get sick, what do they need? Oh, they need my other industry, pharmaceuticals, because what's the number one? Where do we use antibiotics the most? Not on humans, on animals. Antibiotics. Animal husbandry, because I remove the sulfur from their diet, and now the chickens and the pigs and the cows and so forth get sick. So then they, they what are the farmers going to do? They're going to turn to my other industry, which is pharmaceuticals, to make their animals well again. Now you, you, you are worth nothing to me if you're healthy, but you get cancer. Now you're worth $300,000 to me, and I don't care how ugly that death is. How about heart disease? You get a heart disease, ooh, now you're worth some money to me. A couple hundred thousand dollars. I got friends my age got a zipper in their chest because they already had bypass surgery or heart surgery. I got friends my age already in the ground because of cancer. They spent a lot of money first, though. All it takes is me removing sulfur from the diet. There are people that were on their deathbed started taking sulfur. Now, I'm not going to tell you stories because the stories are too good to be true. And if the stories are too good to be true, they probably are. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about sulfur and the research that I did. There's this guy named Linus Pauling, vitamin C, Linus Pauling, you know that guy. Um, b between sulfur and vitamin C, and then maybe you find out about this plant called cannabis, which they also made illegal. And, and, and by the way, speaking of illegal, uh, raw milk, raw milk, high sulfur content. In fact, of all the raw foods, raw milk has the highest sulfur content of all raw foods. See if I'm lying. Hmm, I don't know about you, but where I'm from, it's illegal. In fact, in most states, it's illegal. In fact, I've seen stories on the news about far farmers getting raided by guys with guns because they were trying to sell raw milk. Anyway, so I take uh, this uh, petrochemical fertilizer, I ruin the soil, I take the sulfur out of the soil, the animals get sick, and now you need my pharmaceuticals. The other animals that get sick are called human animals, and those animals get sick and they turn to my pharmaceuticals too, and I make lots and lots of money. It's not about good and evil, my friends. It's not about the baby Jesus and Satan. It's about money. It's just about the money. The guy figured out how he could make a crap load of money keeping you ignorant. You're ignorant of the mathematics, and it's very interesting because I just took a little trip to the mainland and I talked to some older engineers, guys in their 70s and 80s, and they can point to the 60s when they can see that the guys that they started hiring were ignorant of the mathematics. They got degrees in engineering, but they didn't understand the math because all they did was memorize formula. And it was the 1960s where they changed things up. In the 1950s, they changed things up. And instead of using uh, manure, which we've been using for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, and then, you know, allowing the farmlands to flood and be rejuvenated that way, and then understanding that you spread ash from volcanoes on these farmlands and you get, uh, you know, better tasting crops and, and more nutrient-dense crops, no, we're going to put 
103010 on it. We're going to take petroleum derived fertilizer. And then I'm going to fool you. I'm going to trick you into thinking that it's A, a fossil fuel, and B, it's in short supply, and C, that somehow you can't survive without my petrochemicals. That we'd have famine without my petrochemicals. Meanwhile, the manure is going to waste. Meanwhile, <laughs> evil genius. Now, what I want to do is teach people mathematics and get you understanding mathematics and then use this genius for good. Right? I can take little kids and you just go to my website. You can see all the kind of stuff I do. Right? Start starting off with subtraction because most people can't even freaking subtract numbers. But algebra, calculus, all of that. So yeah, I talk to lots of engineers. How often do you use algebra? Their answer is every day. How often do you use a calculus? Mm, not as often. But the algebra, every day. What's the most failed subject out there? Algebra. Most failed subject out there. How do the Illuminati fix the problem? Well, let's see. What's the degree that I can get out of a university without having to take much math? Oh, childhood education. I become a teacher. I can become a teacher without knowing much math. Further, I'm going to fix the problem by, you know, making it so that you're confused about sulfur and molasses and molasses and sulfur. In the 1950s, I'm going to write songs about, ooh, that spring tonic didn't do a thing for me. I'll put links down there. You can see it. It's all by design. Your ignorance of mathematics, 100% by design. Your ignorance of sulfur, 100%. Even Linus Pauling couldn't find because they removed it from the literature. Now I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go even further than that. I'm gonna tell Dennis that you know what, you can put the mercury in the amalgams and and use fluoride and put it in people's mouths and, and that, that'll be fine. I'm gonna tell doctors that yeah, we can crush the immune system with you know petrochemicals and other chemicals just right from mustard gas and so forth that uh, for treating cancer. And I'm going to make them ignorant. I know plenty of doctors that I've trained their kids or, you know, worked with their kids because they couldn't teach them mathematics because they didn't know mathematics themselves. Yet they got a degree and they, or they got an MD or a PhD. Our kings don't know mathematics. Our priests don't know mathematics. Our doctors don't know mathematics. Only a very few now understand the mathematics. This is by design. Never been to a party where somebody said, I never, I can't read. I don't know how to read. I, or, well, I can read, but when I got to the bottom of the page, I didn't know what the hell I just read because my comprehension is zero. But I've gone to plenty of parties where people would go on and on about how terrible. In fact, they'll get into contests about who's worse at mathematics. Well, you got enough in algebra. I didn't even get past division. I can barely do fractions. In fact, I can't do fractions. I can't even help my kid in fourth grade with their homework. So I don't hear that with the reading. Mathematics, you want to understand the secrets of the universe? Mathematics. You want to understand chemistry? Mathematics. You want to understand the sciences? Physics? Mathematics. Strike at the root? Mathematics. You want to understand economics? Mathematics. Can't be fooled as easy with statistics if you understand mathematics. You'll be able to see how they weight the data so that it looks and gives you the result that they want. Pharmaceutical companies do this to doctors every day of the week. All right, find that about sulfur. Find that about crouton hormones, how's it And crouton is now up and running, although it just points to crouton hormones, how's But find that about sulfur. Find out about mathematics and how you can teach it to your kids. Big change is coming, my friends. We are in a race. It's a race. Catastrophe and education. Right now, catastrophe is well in the lead. If we're going to fix the problems that we have, it's going to be mathematics. All right. E pluribus unum.